So talking about delivering a six-star experience around a five-star brand, I want to share a quick story with you. Close to 10 years ago, I get a phone call from an American company and a guy that I'd done some work with. And he says to me, Mark, I'm hosting a, a quite a large sales conference. Not a lot of people, but it's 12 CEOs of some of the biggest companies in America. And I'd like you to come and attend over the next three days in the States over this week, a long weekend and conference. And I said to him, fantastic, uh, tell me a little bit more. Uh, is there a fee involved? And he said, unfortunately, I can't pay you anything, but let me tell you about the trip. He says, we're going to fly you business class on Emirates. We're going to put you up at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Naples, Florida, and we're going to have, give you the most amazing weekend of your life. And I said, you had me at business class. So long story, I get on the plane and we fly across. Um, I don't often fly business class. So it was quite an exciting experience when you rather turn left as opposed to turning right. We land in, in uh, at Charlotte, North Carolina, and one of the CEOs um, had got hold of me and said he had his private company jet and I could catch a lift with him. Now, you don't ever turn those things down. I sat there like a schoolboy looking around at this private jet. We landed in Naples, Florida, and there was a chauffeur-driven Rolls-Royce waiting for us at the airport. And again, I'm, I'm not a materialistic type of guy, but these kind of experiences you grab with both hands and are sitting there wide-eyed. We arrive at the Ritz-Carlton in Naples, Florida, and I don't know if anyone has ever stayed at a Ritz-Carlton, but these are magnificent five-star hotels. But what makes the story quite interesting is, as I got out of this Rolls-Royce uh, chauffeur-driven car, and it was hot, it was humid, it was sticky. It's almost like Durban weather in the summer. And I opened the door and the heat hit me in the face. And I looked just about 10 meters in front of me. And down walking towards me was the concierge doorman in the most amazing, beautiful green jacket, green pants, gold embroidery and, and braids all over his arms, top hat. And he was carrying a silver tray. And this is mid-afternoon. I think that that's quite important to explain. And as he got closer, I saw on this silver tray was a beautiful green bottle. And as he got to about five foot, I saw that the bottle said Heineken. And when I travel, I don't drink a lot, but an ice cold Heineken on a warm, humid day looked very, very appealing. And as he got closer to me, he did this movement with his hand and the Heineken came into a frosted glass poured. And my hand just reached out. He put in my hand and I looked at him and he said, Mr. Keating. Now I'm Mark, but he said, Mr. Keating. On behalf of Brian Parsley, who was the guy that had brought me across, he said, on behalf of Brian Parsley and the Ritz-Carlton, welcome. You're going to have the most magnificent weekend of your life. Now, what was quite interesting, when we checked into the rooms, they hadn't just given me a room, they'd given me a suite. And it's not something that I generally ever experienced. Beautiful. It was so cool at the Ritz-Carlton that in the showers you didn't get little shampoo bottles you know the ones that you throw away in fact many of us you tuck that into your bag and take it home with you these were bulgari shampoos conditioners and many many other things and i even went to the housekeeper i said is there a chance i could buy some she said help yourself and i packed my bag like this every single day as gifts for when i came home so we had the most magnificent weekend meeting all these ceos business class flight private jet rolls royce um, chauffeur driv uh, uh, driven car but the thing that stood out for me above anything else was Brian knew that my drink of choice for a beer perspective was a Heineken and he had taken the effort to ensure that I had an ice-cold Heineken waiting for me upon my arrival what was the most memorable thing that I still speak about today about that trip the five dollar Heineken and it's really something I wanted to bring across that often it's not about doing things that are just expected or as part of what we do on a day-to-day -day routine of giving great education and our facilities and so many other things. It's really about how do we make our students and the parents feel throughout all these interactions on an ongoing basis.